What up, guys? This is Kibo Guys. Back here again with another video. Today, I got some alpha gameplay for you guys of a game called Ramen. This is an online multiplayer food fighting game where you can play with anywhere from two to eight players. And for those of you that are wondering about the camera angle, this is a third person game. Now, this game is published by Tiny Build and is developed by Animal. The game has no confirmed release date. However, it will be coming to the Nintendo Switch, PS4, Xbox One, and PC at launch. As of right now, they're still, you know, like mid-development. They're trying to, you know, fine-tune the PC version right now. That's why they're running the alpha. And as soon as they're done working on the PC version, I'm sure they're going to start working on the console versions. But yeah, no confirmed release date, no confirmed price. Just the fact that it's going to come to PC and consoles eventually. So the first game mode we're trying here is called Meatball. In this multiplayer game mode, you have to find the meatball located around the map. Once you find the meatball, you simply walk up to it and your raw man will wrap himself around the meatball and you'll start rolling your way towards the juice extractor. Once you take the meatball to the juice extractor, you will get one point for your team. Now I also got to point out that the lobbies weren't full when I was playing this and this is just because, you know, the game hasn't fully released. It's only available in alpha and not too many people have the alpha right now. But I still wanted to get some in-game footage for you guys and talk about the game because I think it is going to be a really awesome little multiplayer game once it's released. You can build these little cracker walls, you know, similar to Fortnite, pretty creative. The game overall is really, really creative. Uh, wait till I show you guys all of the different type of weapons towards the end of the video. You could slide on your ramen. Um, I think by holding the little left trigger and here's a meatball so we need to take that over to the juice extractor and you see those like little random weapons that are changing they're randomized so once you pick up a weapon you get a random weapon and again they're all really creative and a lot of them are really awesome hopefully eventually I can get you guys some footage of a full lobby again you can play up to like eight players in this game and it would be pretty intense if you had a full lobby. The second game mode that we're going to be trying in this gameplay video is called Claim Chowder. And this is basically King of the Hill. So we have to find the pot of Clam Chowder and we have to take it over. Once we take it over, we will start gaining points by the second. And ultimately, whoever has the most points by the time the game ends wins. I think traditional Claim Chowder is about 5 minutes long. So... It's a five minute match and whoever has control of the pot of chowder the longest wins. There's also team meatball and team claim chowder available. So you can play uh, both of these modes with teammates as well. Or you can play them solo depending on what play style you prefer. Now I'm not going to be showing you guys the deathmatch mode. There's also a deathmatch mode available. However, I only want this video to be about 10 minutes long. And I still want to show you guys the different weapons that are available in the game and go through those so yeah claim chowder is basically king of the hill all you gotta do is find the pot of chowder and protect it ultimately you get more and more points as you have possession over the claim chowder you just have to make sure that you stay in the circle because if you walk out of the circle you'll stop gaining points which separates itself from the other king of the hill modes in other games just a little bit because in a lot of other king of the hill modes once you gain possession over it you can walk away until enemy you know walks in and breaks it all right guys so next we're just going to jump into the practice mode so i can show you guys all of the different weapons available in this game a lot of them are pretty funny first i can show you guys some of the things that you could do you can hold left trigger to you know go faster and kind of surf on your ramen you can throw your soup or ramen at your opponent by pressing right trigger you could charge it up for like a flame attack if you want to do, you know, like a power uh, soup attack. Just like that. Let's see, what else do we got? Um, you could surf around and hit people at the same time, which I'm sure, you know, it's going to get really intense online because everybody will be surfing around on their ROM and shooting each other. It's going to be really hard to, you know, aim at people that are surfing because... They go pretty fast. So the first weapon I'm going to show you guys is called the loot box. I might not show you all of them, but I'm going to show you my favorite ones. The loot box is a giant loot box that falls from the sky and explodes. You got to be careful and you got to make sure that when you drop one that you surf away because you can damage yourself. 
and you know after it destroys your opponent you can also walk up to it and pick up some weapons all right so it looks like we picked up some naruto frisbee cakes out of that loot box they're basically flying discs that you can hurl at your enemy pretty basic let's surf back over here this one is called the broth dispenser it says sharing is caring give the gift of a feast in a small radius this one is recovery related and this is going to charge the health of you and your allies next one we're going to check out is called the untitled goose turret this is obviously a playoff of the untitled goose game but yeah so this is a turret with a goose on it and yeah it's really as simple as that pretty awesome though you know that's your standard turret that you can lay down in a lot of shooters they just did something real creative with it our next one is called easy breezy and this is basically like a jetpack of gas so that smoke cloud that you're leaving is apparently flatulence it's a big old fart cloud unfortunately it wasn't that dank because it doesn't do any damage to our enemies however it can be used to boost to get to hard to get places and as a smoke grenade our next power up or weapon is the meatball this one is an exploding meatball though guys so you gotta guide it to your enemy and it will explode just know that this is a one-way ticket meaning that you're gonna die at the end along with your enemy so don't use that unless you want to commit suicide our next weapon is a playoff of a gatling gun however it's called the brotling gun and it shoots out bratwurst big old sausages and yeah this one's really powerful actually and you can use it to destroy your enemies pretty quickly let's go ahead and surf back up to the power ups and let's see what we have next the matzo ball this is basically like a mace. You can swing it at your enemies and it does a lot of damage. Let's try by swinging on these two enemies. Let's see, we'll start off with this guy right here. See how fast we can kill him with the matzo ball. Yep, about three swings. All right. Yeah, we'll kill him. I already said I was going to. Yeah, three swings does it with that weapon, guys. Next, we have the cream pie. Cream their face, put them in their place. <laughs> oh my god, this game, yo. That really didn't even do any damage. It was more just funny, <laughs> funny to do it. It's kind of disrespectful to do that to your opponent, give them a, a cream pie. Oh my god, anyway, um, our next weapon is basically a grenade. It's called Hot Potato. It's a take on, you know, the old hot potato game. Hot potato, hot potato, hot potato, hot. It's a potato grenade. You can throw it at your enemy and it will kill them in one shot. Next, we have the cock sauce. Throw a bottle in a friend's face to give them the sweats. Okay, so they just aren't able to move and they just start puking up hot sauce. <laughs> oh, man. I also got to point out that they're totally, you know, updated in these times. You can put face masks on these characters, guys. It has character customization. This is the ramen that I created. I want the big old mustache. This weapon is called Dim Some Good Explosions. <laughs> Again, basically a grenade, but apparently it's a sack of shit. Smackerel Mackerel is our next weapon. You can slap your friends with a big old fish. Again, pretty disrespectful. And then we had those Naruto Frisbee cakes. So yeah, guys, I'm really excited for this one. I mean, the game seems really raunchy, really risky. And, you know, I like those type of games, especially, you know, considering a lot of publishers and devs aren't willing to take risks like this anymore. So this is definitely for adults, not for kids. Pretty cool. Excited for this one. I'll definitely be picking up on Xbox and maybe even making some achievement guides. As always, I appreciate you guys tuning in. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment and don't forget to like and subscribe.